I'm looking at the calendar, and guess what day it is? Old Chael is a free man. The suspension is up, and Daddy is back. And frankly, never should have left. And so many people ask me all the time, are you coming back? Are you coming back to fighting? And my answer is no. My answer has always been no, and my answer is still no. But the one thing that people missed was I didn't have a choice. I was on a suspension. I had retired, and then that got rubber stamped with a suspension on top of that. So equate that to a license that you guys have. Equate that to a driving license. Whether you're planning to drive a car or not, you got to have the license. You just have to. Otherwise, the answer is just no. Even if somewhere you'd like to, you, you'd like to get yourself to the supermarket, you need a lift. You got to have that license. I wasn't eligible for a license, but things have changed. Daddy did the crime and he did the time. And now he's free. Debt is paid. Where do we go from here? I have a match lined up. I got into submission grappling. When I retired from MMA, I got into submission grappling. Now, submission grappling doesn't follow uh doesn't fall under any scope. So when I was suspended from fighting, I didn't I never really knew what that meant. I knew that meant okay, MMA's gone. That was real obvious, but it could mean some other things too. I had a chance to box Roy Jones Jr. and there was a Roy Jones Jr. sweepstakes going around. Anderson Silva was in the talk. Rampage ended up in there. Nick Diaz was inserted at some point. There's a little sweepstakes for an MMA fighter. So I was the guy who was going to box Roy Jones. We were going to box on the rooftop of a skyscraper in Abu Dhabi. Pretty weird deal. I don't think I ever talked to you guys about that because it didn't gain any traction because the commissions oversee boxing. So though I was banned from fighting, I, I just didn't know what it meant. We knew it meant MMA. I, j- I assumed it probably extended to boxing. And it was a case of I could go in and ask them, but then you're leaving the country. It just I just had a sense that it had a bad feel to it. And it just stayed away. So I got into the submission grappling. Even started promoting events. One thing I learned through submission grappling in my own experiences was there was nowhere to do it. There just wasn't opportunity. I've been suspended two years. I never say no. And I'm the kind of guard they wanted on their cards. I got put on every card there was. And with that said, I wrestled twice in two years. Might have been three times. Had Galvao, Galvo, Babalu, and Michael Bisping. And there just wasn't a lot of opportunity there. So what am I going to do now? Well, now my options are open. Now my options are open. And M- MMA isn't, isn't in my future. But I do have a grappling contest scheduled with Tim Kennedy. Tim Kennedy and I were going to wrestle at Submission Underground in the debut show. And Tim agreed. And I have to say that. This is not a situation where Tim refused to do it. It was just the opposite. Tim said yes, but Tim was doing some very important work for the government, some work for the Pentagon. We'll leave it at that. And he just couldn't make the date. He said, look, you pick a date. I don't give a damn. If August 1st on, I'm your guy. So I have to say that about Tim. He deserves that. And he's a tough son of a bitch. And when the time comes, I will give him an ass whipping. But we'll do it in Submission Underground. We'll do it under EBI rules. But the bottom line is Daddy's a free man. Oh, I'm a free man. And I'll tell you, I did everything right. And the guys that are in my spot have got have got to learn from the playbook. Come as clean as you can, as quickly as you can. And I got hit with a two-year suspension, which at that time, right now, that's the standard. But I was in there before that standard was put in place. I came in with legal medications now these were banned and they were performance enhancers and i knew it it was a dirty slimy thing to do but there is a relevance if you're taking a legal medication through a prescription you're going into a pharmacy and taking it there there is a relevance to that when you combine that with dirty illegal imprisonable steroids that not only are you not allowed to take not only are they banned they're against the law the relevance there is i sat two years and guys that came in behind me one sat nine months and, and, and one uh, sat 12 months retroactive. I didn't get any of those benefits. I had to do double the time, deal with everything I had to deal with that I deserved, put myself in that spot, just telling the story the way it happened. Uh, 
and I said I sat double the time, and it was a little bit confusing. You don't really get to protest those things. I've been on both sides of that. I was in there one day, got approved for what's now a banned substance of testosterone, got approved for testosterone, and Nick Diaz was on the docket right behind me, and for a marijuana metabolite, I don't like marijuana. I am not a pot guy. But I can't argue with the laws. The laws have changed, both federally and on the state level. He came from California. He had his card. He took it legally. He did everything right. He got banned for five years. I got approved for what is now a banned substance the same day that Nick Diaz got suspended for five years for taking something legal. There's a relevance there. That's not a boo-hoo, poor, poor me. Not at all. They could do that to Nick. They, 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 could do, they can do anything. But that latitude... What I'm looking at and going, hey, wait a minute, I came in, I fessed up. I came clean. And I paid for it. And I paid double what other guys that lied and said that they, they, they took it through some kind of erectile dysfunction medication. They had dirty, illegal, imprisonable steroids. I had no steroids, 100% legal, banned in sport, but 100% legal. I could possess it and ingest it in front of a police officer. Nothing happens. Guys came in behind me that if a cop found it, they would put them in handcuffs. Do you understand the difference? Well, guess what? The difference doesn't matter because the clock is ticked. It hit midnight. 